Now, a very important implementation detail with single sideband AM uh, pitch shifting is that we need to apply some sort of pre-filtering to avoid aliasing. Turns out the aliasing can actually be a very objectionable artifact if you, d if you don't pay attention to this. Let me consider a baseband spectrum signal to be um, pitch shifted. So what I'm indicating here is the system sampling frequency, FS. The folding frequency would be the sampling frequency divided by 2. Let me draw a situation when we have a small pitch shift amount. For a small carrier frequency, we can split the spectrum, shift it apart a little bit, and we have no aliasing because the signal is band limited and does not extend beyond the folding frequency. However, as we consider a higher carrier frequency, anything that spills past that folding frequency is aliased back into our, our primary or uh, uh, fundamental alias, if you will, between 0 and fs over 2. So that's going to sound like high frequency noise being added to our, our pitch shifted signal. It, and it's very noticeable as an audible effect. So the way to handle this is you decide in advance how much of a desired shift you need and you simply have to filter out your signal in such a way that when you shift by that amount you've eliminated any potential signal that could go past the folding frequency. So in this case we would need a low pass filter and I'm drawing the ideal low pass filter or so called brick wall filter you'd probably want to use something like a higher order Butterworth filter or equivalent. So notice that when it's shifted we have no aliasing. Now imagine that we wanted to go the other direction, that is we want to lower the pitch of the signal. Again we have the same sort of problem that when we do our, our shift we actually get audible noise creeping in from the the alias uh, on the negative frequency side. So again we have to say what is the desired shift amount that we need, pre-filter the signal, in this case a high pass filter does the job that we need, the high pass filter eliminates any DC component that we might have um, and a sufficient amount of low frequencies so that when we actually shift the signal then again the aliasing does not occur. The, the aliasing really as I say can be quite noticeable as noise uh, with either type of shift and mount. So altogether all maybe you want to use a bandpass filter to kind of handle both ends.